To find out, to get some information or knowledge of something after trying to discover it or by chance. To get along, to be friendly to each other, to have smooth relations. To cheer up, to make someone feel less sad or to become less sad. To figure out, to be able to understand something or to find a solution to a problem. To pick up, to take something or someone away from the place where they are waiting for you. To lift something up from a surface. To look for, to try to find something that you need or that you have lost. To drop off, to leave someone or something at the destination to which one has transported it. Opposite meaning of the phrase over, pick up. To move in, to start living in a new home, to move into a new house or apartment. To move out, to leave the house or apartment where you live or the place where you have your business. To hang out, to spend time with someone in the context of friendship. To relax and do what you like or spend time somewhere for no particular reason. To bring up, to mention a particular subject or start talking about it. To pay attention to a subject and start discussing it. Examples. If you accept full responsibility, full responsibility, I can begin to trust you again. Does that seem like something you can do? Does it? Look, Ross, you have what you want. You're back with Rachel. If you bring this up now, you're gonna wreck the best thing that ever happened to you. Yeah, I know, I, I know, you're right. Hey, look, Joey, come on, think about it. First of all, he'll never be president. I mean, there's never gonna be a president Joey. All right, look, man, I don't want to bring this up, but Chandler is the stupidest name I've ever heard in my life. <laughs> it's not even a name. It's barely even a word, okay? It's kind of like chandelier, but it's not. To piss off. To annoy someone very much. Used for telling someone to go away, not polite. Examples. Boy, oh, this is great. I haven't had a vacation in ages. In order to take a vacation, one first has to work. <laughs> You know, for a smart guy, you really seem to have a hard time grasping the concept, don't piss off the people who handle the things you eat. Hey, you guys playing poker? Private game. Piss off. Hey, could I sit in? You think I can sit in? What part of piss off do you not understand? To calm down. To begin to feel more relaxed and less emotional. Or to make someone feel more relaxed. Examples. <laughs> Oh, sorry, did I get you? No, you didn't get me. It's an electric drill. You get me, you kill me. Calm down. Do you want this unit or not? I do not want this unit. We have to get food. There's just too much to do. It's impossible. We can't do it. We cannot do it. Rachel, we cannot do calm it. Calm down. Okay. I'm sorry. You're right. You're right. I'm sorry. Just calm down, woman. <laughs> Okay, I already, I already did. Oh, okay. I, I need to calm down a little. Okay. To turn out. To happen in a particular way, or to have a particular result. To be discovered finally or surprisingly. Examples. You could ask him questions and see what he's like. People tell doctors everything. But you said he was this great guy. But lately, all the guys I meet seem really nice at first, and then they turn out to be the biggest jerks. A lot of times, it's only after we get rid of something for, for me that we realize how much we miss it. And things that seem worthless suddenly turn out to be super valuable. Okay, everybody, picture in front of the tree. Timer set, ready? Uh, no, 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 To mess something up, to make a mistake, to do something incorrectly, untidy, or dirty. Examples. I'm, I'm still not done not wanting to talk to you. Just tell me what I need to do to make things right. What? Well, that's what we do, you know. I, I mess up, 
and then you tell me how to fix it, and then I do, and then, you know, you think I'm all cute again. Ooh. So if I, if I mess this up, there's nothing else for dessert? You're not gonna mess it up. Wow, Monica, I love that. You really have faith in me. Thank you. Yeah. Technical question. How do you know when uh, the butter is done? Well, it's done about two minutes before it looks like that. <laughs> to fool around. To behave in a silly way for fun. To have a sexual relationship with someone without any commitment. Examples. Smart, that way you never technically gamble. Right. I don't know. Addiction is nothing to fool around with. I had food issues. I ate a crate of hams once. Yeah, and look at you now. You're like a super jacked He-Man guy, right? It's settled. I had a, a thing with Janice. <laughs> <laughs> You're not mad? Why would I be mad? Well, because, you know, there are certain rules about this kind of stuff. You don't, uh, you don't fool around with your friends' ex-girlfriends or, uh, possible girlfriends or girls they're related to. Let me ask you something. At your school, was there a, like a place on campus where, where students went to to fool around? Yeah, there was. It, they were in the corner of the library where, where all these dusty books were that nobody ever read. <laughs> yes, there was. To come over. To visit someone house for a short time. To travel from one place to another, usually long distance. Examples. Listen, also, we're, uh, we're watching the game here Saturday night if people want to come over. Oh, yeah. Oh, I was thinking about having people over for the game. Oh, yeah? Who's playing? <laughs> the players, tonight, it's, say, 8.30 at, at my apartment. It's, um, it's um, 5 Morton Street, apartment 14. You do know that I will be here when he comes over. Oh, and how will you know what time to come over? You just said it. <laughs> to catch up. To reach someone or something by moving faster. To catch up with or on. To do something that you have not been able to do recently. Examples. I have to tie my shoe, so you go ahead. I'll catch up. OK. OK. Go! I'll catch up with you. All right. I'm not gonna go. <laughs> You're not gonna go? No, I think I'm gonna catch up on my correspondence. <laughs> how, how, um, how can you not be going? I'm not gonna go. So I think that will accomplish the not going. To call off, to decide that a planned event will not happen or to decide that something should be stopped after it has already started. Examples. And then Susan and I got in this big fight because I said maybe we should call off the wedding and then she said we're not doing this for them, we're doing it for us and if I couldn't see that then maybe we should call off the wedding. And I don't know what to do. Tonight you sail for King's Landing to join the Northern Armies. Cersei's followers will abandon her if they know the war is lost. Give them that chance. If the city surrenders, they will ring the bells and raise the gates. Please, if you hear them ringing the bells, call off the attack. To deal with, to accept and control a difficult emotional situation. To take action to do something, especially to solve a problem. Examples. Wait, so you're going? Well, okay, I, uh, I have to. I can't deal with this right now. I mean, I've, uh, <laughs> you know, I've got a cat. I've got a girlfriend. I'm... I'm gonna go get a cat. Okay, okay. Now I feel renewed. I'm ready to deal with any changes that come my way. Hey! hey. Look who's back! Your hair is different. You changed your hair. I can't take this. I'm out. <laughs> to take over. To take control of something. To begin to do something that someone else was doing. Examples. Captain, please, please, pretty please do not let him take over my case. Major Crimes is stepping in. Nothing I can do. You're off the case. Getting pretty tired. I'm gonna have to take over soon. We've been driving for a half hour. A hundred million people went to see a movie about what I do. I wonder how many people would go see a movie called Jurassic Parka. Oh. <laughs> so... No, no, no. A bunch of out-of-control jackets take over an island. <laughs> 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 to
To bust on. Informal. To make fun of someone or something. Examples. What are you into? Why, so you can tease me? No. Come on, I'm curious. I won't bust on you, I promise. Okay. But I'm trusting you with this, okay? Two words. Ping pong. You sure you guys don't want to come with us to Napa? You could probably still get a room. No, I think we're just gonna have a quiet weekend at home. Plus, I'm not sure it's a great idea to take Penny to where wine comes from. <laughs> <laughs> what? It's a joke. Oh, come on, we bust on each other. I wear dorky glasses. You might have a problem. It's all for laughs. To cut off. To interrupt or stop something. To stop the supply of something, such as electricity, water, gas, internet. To refuse to let someone receive your money. Examples. Are you sure about this? Yes. Captain Holt's been in his office gambling for hours. Our only choice is to cut off his internet. No, I mean, are you sure you know how to do that? Of course. I just have to pull this. No! Ah! Wrong wire. Yeah, we'll, uh, we'll fix that later. You sustained a traumatic injury to your brainstem, which has cut off your brain's ability to communicate with the rest of your body. Can you fix me? So adorable, you're making Sheldon breakfast. Mm, he's having a rough time. Amy broke his heart. The DVR cut off the last minute of Doctor Who. To set someone up. To arrange for someone to meet someone as a possible mate. Examples. Can I ask you something? Yeah. Okay, you can totally say no. But um, would it be okay with you if I set Ross up on a date? Oh. Uh, with who? Um, my friend Bonnie. She just always thought Ross was really cute. And now that you two aren't together, she asked if I could set it up. But if you're not cool with it... Well, I'm... Which one is Bonnie again? There's some nice guys in my office. You want me to set you up? Yeah. Wait a minute. It's been a long time that I've been single. How come you've never offered this before? Well, I have a girlfriend. I'm, I'm happy. <laughs> okay. <laughs> no accountants. Oh, and no one from, like, legal. I don't like guys with boring jobs. Oh, and Ross was like, what, a lion tamer? <laughs> to pull over, to drive car to the side of the road, and stops there. Examples. God, I forgot how much I love driving. I have got to get my license renewed. <laughs> you don't have a valid driver's license? Okay, that is it, pull over right now. Oh, Ross, you're so tense. You right. just gotta relax, okay? Well, go faster or you're losing him. What is his hurry? You know what, flash your lights, let him know it's you. But he's flashing his lights. What's that mean? I think he wants us to pull over. Do not pull over. I'm not raising this baby alone. <laughs> Hang on. Dig in. To start eating food with a lot of enthusiasm. To start working energetically. Examples. <sighs> so dig in. Right. Oh, it all looks so good. Mm. Well, watch the door. Watch the door. That's the job they always give the coolest guy in the heist. Everyone else dig in. We're looking for any letter addressed to Deputy Commissioner Stevenson. Okay, dig in. <laughs> Hold up. Bless us, O Lord, for these thy gifts, which we are about to receive from thy bounty, through Christ <laughs> our Lord. Amen. <laughs> Took the words right out of my mouth. <laughs> To hold back. To stop yourself from doing or saying something. Examples. Oh, the German philosopher Friedrich Nietzsche believed that morality is just a fiction used by the herd of inferior human beings to hold back the few superior men. You just take a big, big swing, okay? Oh. Now, don't hold back. Okay. <laughs> hey! hey! What are you doing? We're just celebrating that Joey got his health insurance back. To come up, to turn out to be, or to come to attention. For example, if a subject comes up, people mention it and discuss it. If a job comes up, it becomes available. If something is coming up, it is about to happen. Examples. Um, are you coloring in your butt? I have a big interview coming up and my suit has holes in it. It's their party and it's one night and, and we don't even have to lie. We just won't say anything. If it comes up again, we'll just we'll smile, we'll nod along. Who told you you could touch my board? 
No one. Yeah, I don't come into your house and touch your board. There are no incorrect equations on my board. <laughs> oh, that is so, so. I'm sorry, I gotta run. If you come up with an adjective, text me. <laughs> to work something out. To find the solution by thinking or talking about it. To come up with a solution or a compromise with someone. Examples. What can I do? One person wants to break up, you break up. Hey, no way. Come on, this is you guys. Call her and work it oh, out. Come on, we just had this huge fight, all right? Don't I have to wait a while? Before you go, both of you requested to have this Saturday off, but I need one of you to work. Oh, I could take that shift. Work this out and get back to me. Okay, I'm still trying to work this out. How did Penny meet an astronaut? I don't know. The regular way people meet astronauts. <laughs> Most of those guys live in Texas. Obviously, this one doesn't. <laughs> to go over something. To check something carefully. To practice and repeat something in order to learn it. Examples. Let's go over the morning schedule. I use the bathroom from 7 to 7.20. Plan your ablutions and bodily functions accordingly. How am I supposed to plan my bodily functions? I suggest no liquids after 11 p.m. <laughs> A hundred! Ready or not, here I come! <laughs> All right, let's go over the concept one more time. To turn down, to refuse to accept or agree to something. To reduce the amount of sound, heat, or light. Examples. And just so you know, I'd still be an astronaut even if I didn't go to space. You know, I've got an ID card and a NASA golf shirt. And... <laughs> no, no, you gotta go. You can't turn down an opportunity like this. No, but what about the wedding? You let me worry about that. Maybe I'll just turn down the lights a little. How about all the way? Okay. I just had to turn down a job catering a funeral for 60 people. Oh my God, what happened? 60 guests. <laughs> to get over. To find a way to solve some dilemma, or deal with a difficult problem. To start to feel happy, or well again, after something bad has happened to you. Examples. There's one lucky to go cup of coffee. Honey, I wish you would get over her. I hate seeing you like this. The magazine article suggests that one of the ways to get over a breakup is a new look. What about your old look? Well-groomed ventriloquist doll. Well, I think I can help you get over him. You can? Yeah. All right. All right. So, um, yeah, look at the picture. Okay. All right. And, um... Ow! <laughs> okay, how do you feel now? <laughs> well, I'd like you less. To pass out. To fall asleep feeling weak, physical, or emotional distress. To suddenly become unconscious. Examples. After he passed out, we put the sand around him to keep him warm. Just keep going. Yeah, I don't think I can. Well, then climb back down. No, that doesn't seem any more likely. So what's your plan, Koopa? Well, it's not exactly a plan, but I think I'm going to pass out. <laughs> To hook up, to have a sexual relationship with someone, to connect two pieces of electronic equipment together, to start a relationship together, or start doing something together. Examples. What do you think? That should display enough of your bosom to attract a new mate or a hungry infant. <laughs> okay, let's go through this one more time. Just because Leonard has a new girlfriend does not mean I need to go out and hook up with some guy. Uh, excuse me. Do you know anything about this stuff? I know everything about this stuff. Okay. I have my own wholesale flower business, and I want to hook up my computer in the front entrance with the one in my refrigerated warehouse. Ooh, Julie's so smart. Julie's so special. Look, honey, I wanted you to hook up with Ross as much as you did. But he's with her now, and you're just going to have to get over it. Tell him who you originally wanted to hook up with that night. What? 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 
to tag along, to go somewhere with someone else, although you are not needed. To go with someone, especially when they have not asked you to. Examples. Congratulations, pizza night will now be at your apartment. Order one. I'm sorry, honey, I'm meeting Amy and Bernadette for dinner. But you're welcome to tag along. A girl's night? Oh, I don't know if I'm up for an evening talking about rainbows, unicorns, and menstrual cramps. Okay, suit yourself. Hey, Dad, maybe you could take Howard fishing sometime. Give you guys a chance to get to know each other better. Oh, no, no. <laughs> we know each other well enough. He's been talking my ear off all night. <laughs> Fine. You can tag along. To ask out. To invite someone to go with you to some place, like a cinema or restaurant, because you want to start a romantic relationship with them. Examples. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna ask her out. Hey, you guys ready to order or you need a few minutes? Uh, 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 yeah. A few minutes it is. You didn't ask her out, but that was a lot of sounds. You should ask him out. Dr. Burke? I don't think so. I mean, like, he's a grown-up. <laughs> so? You two are totally into each other. Phoebe, he's a friend of my parents. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna call him up and I'm gonna ask him out. I can do that. Ask him out. How you doing? <laughs> to give in. To stop arguing or fighting and accept that you cannot win. Examples. Maybe I should just give in to his stupid bathroom schedule. No, don't do that. But you did? Exactly. Learn from my mistakes. You don't think a woman can do this? Well, um, women can. <laughs> you can't. <laughs> So you gave in and decided to call someone? Yeah. I don't know who I was kidding. I can barely use chopsticks. Yeah, how he's gonna freak out. Parental pressure can be daunting. I remember the battle with my mother about shaving my legs. <laughs> Last year, I finally gave in and let her do it. To look forward to. To be very excited or happy about something or doing something in the future. Examples. I'm no longer a bride. I'll never be a bride again. Now I'm just someone's wife. And I'm the happiest guy in the world. <laughs> oh, come on, honey. Don't be upset. We still have so much to look forward to. Oh, yeah, right. Good news. I finally have a handle on my idea for three-person chess. OK, well, I look forward to playing with you. And? And what? And a third person. It's three-person chess. To barge in. To enter a room suddenly and noisily, usually interrupting someone in a rude way. Examples. Come in. Hi. I'm so sorry to barge in on your valentine, but I had to get away from all the yelling. Mona is dumping Ross. Oh, oh my god. Oh, Ross. Leonard and Penny. I have good news. And you had to barge in here and wake us up in the middle of the night? Your cell phone was off. Because we didn't want to be disturbed. And that didn't work out, did it? To storm out. To leave or exit some place quickly in a very angry manner. Examples. You are lucky that this feelings machine doesn't have feelings. <laughs> Come on, Sheldon, let's go. You, gladly. Can we storm out? I think it loses its impact if we're chatting about it. Yeah. Fine, I'll just give him the finger. <laughs> but I am not scared of sharing the spotlight with you. What's happening? I just stormed out for dramatic effect. I, sh I, I don't have anywhere to go. <laughs> to warm up. To do easy exercises in order to prepare yourself for more energetic exercises. To start liking someone more as you spend more time with them, especially if you didn't really like them in the beginning. If you warm up a machine or an engine, you switch it on and wait for a little while until it is ready to be used. Examples. Well, I thought we'd start with some basic movement exercises. You know, get our bodies warmed up a little. All right. So I just want you to relax and kind of move around in the space, you know. Just do whatever feels natural. 
<laughs> hey, what are you doing? You've got to save room. You've got almost an entire turkey to eat. Let me explain to you how the human body works. <laughs> I have to warm up my stomach first. Eating chips is like stretching. Babe, don't worry. He'll forget about it. He's like this with everyone. It always takes him some time to warm up to new people. That's all. What, what are we talking about here? By Sunday, you'll be a part of this family. The infirmary at Fort Lebanon. We'll be right behind you. You got it? Yep. Warm up the motor. I'll be right back. Hold it right there. To dive in or dive into. To start doing something or start doing something in a very enthusiastic way. Examples. <sighs> Let's dive in. Get a shot of this. Hey, babies. These are the headlines on the day you were born. Okay, now, girl baby, turn away. And boy babies, check it out, huh? <laughs> this is what naked women look like the month you were born. All right, now let's dive right into the good stuff. <laughs> to look up. To try to find some information. By looking in a book, using a computer, etc. Examples. What's the difference between beer and lager? I don't know. <laughs> we could look it up. But when I return, 200 years from now, you'll be long gone. <laughs> So you tell your great, great granddaughter to look me up. Uh, Rach, uh, Gleba is not a word. Okay, 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 fine. I'm gonna look it up. Oh, oh, okay, great. You know what? While you're at it, she said another word the other day. Why don't you, uh, why don't you look up? <laughs> to roll over, to move in a rolling motion on a surface. To be easily defeated without even trying. Stop resisting someone and do what the other person wants. Examples. I did tape it, so if you guys want to see it. Uh, we know. He already did it last week. I missed, I missed the first time of everything. I missed, what, the first time he rolled over? The first time he crawled? What else did I miss? Has he spoken yet? Uh, is he driving? Does he have a favorite liqueur? I really, what, what, what did you expect me to do? Just simply roll over? and allow you to murder us? I told you, you can't regulate every aspect of our lives. I can, if you just roll over and accept your fate. <laughs> to come down with, to become sick with a particular disease, usually one that is not serious. Examples. Actually, some research indicates that by not overthinking, the less intelligent handle emotions better. <laughs> oh. Sure you're not coming down with a cold? Oh, yes, the common cold. Just like everyone else, you'd love that, wouldn't you? <laughs> there is nothing dishonorable about talking about your life. People like it. Hey there, Dwight Schrute here. Listen, uh, would you be interested in restocking on paper? Yeah, I could sure use the money. My cousin uh, came down with a case of that nasty new goat fungus. Oh, it's just horrific. To name after, to give someone, or something, the same name as another person or thing. Examples. So, we can see that M-A equals M-G, and what do we know from this? <laughs> uh, Newton was a really smart cookie. <laughs> oh, is that where Fig Newtons come from? <laughs> no, Fig Newtons are named after a small town in Massachusetts. But what are we gonna do? It's okay, honey, you'll find a name. Oh, easy for you to say. You already know what your kids' names are gonna be. You do? Yeah, I had them picked out since I was 14. Oh no, it's gonna be named after some snack or baked good, isn't it? <laughs> to come across, to meet someone or find something by chance, to appear or sound in a specified way, give a specified impression, Examples. I started doing some reading on cognitive vitality, and I came across an area of research called super aging. You know who's a super ager? Jennifer Lopez. Like, what is the secret? Hey, Robin, what do you think? The girl sitting at the bar, shields up? Hmm. Totes, toots. She's here on a date. She brought the book because she got here early, and she also wants to impress the guy she's meeting. Girls like to come across all classy and smart, you know? 
I realized that this could be really helpful for police work, so I made an appointment with the head of NYPD purchasing. I have to sell them on it, but I'm afraid I might come across a little boring. To bum out, to disappoint, upset, or annoy someone, to cause someone to feel disappointed. Examples. Sorry, it's just because I couldn't be there. Because all I ever get to do now is pregnant stuff. It just bums me out. No, oh, we're sorry. All right. I haven't seen these guys since like last year before Lily and I broke up. So I'm gonna have to break the news to everybody. It's really gonna bum them out. He's miserable. What happened to him? Nothing. We just talked about stuff. What stuff? Rachel stuff. Joey, you bummed him out. <laughs> this is the happiest dog in the world, and he spends half a day with you, and look at him. To settle down. To become quiet and calm. To begin to live a quiet and steady life by getting a regular job, getting married, etc. Examples. Wait, wait, wait. You know what? Just stay. Please. Uh... It would really mean a lot for me if you stayed. Ross, I just... Rachel, please! Just have dinner with us! <laughs> okay. Okay, Joey. It's okay. Settle down. All, All right. right. All I'm right. sorry. Settle. I'm sorry. Did she say something? Yeah, she said she hasn't heard from you in a week. I thought you liked her. Bernadette is really nice. I just always thought when I finally settle down into a relationship, it would be with someone, you know, different. Different how? Well, they, you know, more like Megan Fox from Transformers. You know? All right, look, I just think it's time for you to settle down, you know? Make a choice. Pick a lane. Who's a lane? <laughs> to stop by. To stop and spend time at some place or with someone for a short time, usually on the way to another place. Examples. You know what? You should stop by and say hi. Oh, I would love to. Yeah, oh, oh, she'd be so excited. Oh, uh, okay. Come on. Hey, I'm having a party at my house on Friday, and I was hoping you would stop by. Will there be girls there? Yeah, of course. Because there wasn't last time. <laughs> hi, you guys. Hey. 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 Well, we just want to stop by and uh, say goodnight. Goodnight. Hi. You had 29 years to find that out, but you didn't even try. Maybe this will cheer you up. I could probably say, let's move in together. You want to hang out with us? No, I think I'm going to catch up on my correspondence. Just calm down, woman! All right, let's go over the concept one more time.